we're gonna start with like a timeline okay like this is just like background facts so you can understand that spain was like not doing well so first of all there was a king and he, the monarchy was overthrown in 1873 and then it literally came back the next year because the army were like we need the monarchy because the army is like super conservative super monarchy inclined super catholic like all of that vibe and then in 1898 spain lost against the us in a war i don't know what war it was but we're, they, they lost which is like very demoralizing you know like same thing as <laughs> russian civil war okay let's move on so the long-term causes we're talking long-term causes okay weak government right so first of all um the government basically kept on being run by these rich people and their cliques and they were just going back and forth between like oh this rich person and this rich person and they all were like intertwined but the government would just kept going back and forth because the king would appoint the prime minister so that's not very good that's like super every, all the poor people were mad so like the elections were all super rigged and poor people were mad then if we're talking about the arm okay basically we're just going to talk about these like groups things that have happened it's not really long-term causes it's just things that are going on that's causing instability and like shit's going on in Spain. So in the army, they were like super powerful. Like they have a really high po like political position because um, they like of Spain's imperial past. Kind of lost that when they lost against the U.S. It's a bit of like a mm, situation with the army, you know. And they're generally conservative, traditional, like super nationalistic. That's just how the army is, right? Obviously, they're gonna be with the monarchy, like you know. Anyways, Catholic Church again, super rich, super like powerful because they do education for kids, um, and they have like a large part in the economy. I don't really know why. I tried to find reasons for this, but I just know it's a fact. Then they hated modernization and they did not like socialist and liberal forces. That's basically it. The economy, we're gonna talk about Spanish economy. Um, it was super agrarian, agrarian, agricultural, I don't know, anyway. 52% um, of the land was owned by 7% of the fucking people, landowners. That's a lot, like that means there's like the group of like really rich people. So they dominate those, so as I said, you know those, like, those people who like would dominate politics? Those are the 7% landowners. We just don't know their names. Landless peasants would work um, on farmland, like really bad living conditions. Literally would get no food, like hardly any pay, super long hours. Every, like, every time there was some sort of uprising because then socialist like ideology and Marxism started coming into Spain. Then like there would be all of these uprisings and they kept on getting crushed by the civil guard, which is like anger, resentment. Like, fuck, like let us just have our own opinions. You know what I mean? Because it's quite like, it's not a dictatorship. It's not an autocracy but it's like rich capitalism and we don't accept anything else kind of thing there were some trade unions set up cnt and ugt but they didn't have any power because they didn't have any legal backing so it was a bit of like an l for them yeah there was like this like regional thing going on because like catalonia and the basque region wanted their independence but the government was like absolutely fucking not we're not giving you that shit so it, that was a bit like a thing you know um because they had like different languages and culture but socialists were like low-key yeah word give catalonia and thingy Beijing fucking independence a word like give them their freedom because you know it's like liberal shit anyways they want to talk about politics in general um the liberal movement they did not like the conservative forces they were trying to oppose them but it didn't really work and yeah the ugt and cnt like the trade unions there was like this anarchist party like a really extremist party that came out of it and i thought it's the fia like cia but f like fuck ia you know like you could call it that because it's like fuck like anarchy anyway. then we're moving on to short-term causes really important there was so many failed dictatorships like let's talk about this basically this guy called general primo de riviera he, i don't know what he was thinking but he was like i'm gonna turn spain into a fascist autocratic state because we can do it like italy obviously you can't do it like italy because it failed massively basically he tried to set up a government and he tried to like yeah, recreate authoritarianism um but because of the wall street crash and shit like debt was going up and he was unable to pay that. He wasn't able to like get rid of economic instability. Uh, like literally had no policy. This guy, I don't know what he was thinking. Um, and then he resigned in 1930 because he failed to solve like the economic problems or bring any sort of long-term political stability like back. Um, King abdicated. He literally left, he fled. So the second Republic was set up. Oh yeah, because by the way, in 1873, when the monarchy was like overturned, the first Republic 
existed but then it like deleted itself when the monarchy came back but actually the monarchy came back in 1879 and 74 it was just like a constitual constit constituent you know what i mean monarchy so it's like not really anyways and then 1931 elections happened it, there was loads of republicans loads of socialists just coming up out of nowhere everyone was like damn this is really an ideology that's being followed yeah alfonso got like left alfonso is the king by the way he like got the fuck out of there but he had no support from the army which is like really sus because surely the army should be right because they wanted him back but anyways i guess they weren't like that close to the king anymore when they lost against the u.s and there was the left republic so as i told you like there was a massive emergence of socialist groups in 1931 in the election because it wasn't rigged anymore i don't know why but it wasn't rigged anymore i think it's because the king wasn't there to support the rich families a guy called azana like a-z-a-n-a -A. he became president and he was like we are done with capitalism so he limited the power of the church so he like got rid of their education system and shit and he like completed the separation of state and the church you know religion shit he reduced the power of the army by reducing like how many officers there were which people were really mad about that like they were not happy. Catalonia was given like a, their own parliament. The right were like, how dare they? There's like an issue again, the Great Depression. You know, we haven't thought about that. But basically, um, agricultural prices tumbled, exports fell, and like oil and wine. And peasant unemployment was rising, as everything you can basically expect. Like iron production fell by a third and steel by a half. So everything was just going down. Oh, yeah, government officials from this president, the Azuna guy, uh, they set fire to houses in this i don't know where but they did it i think it was in the north trying to get rid of the anarchists and then that's when azuna was like oh no i don't have any more support so i literally need to resign because he had no more support from the working class so obviously you need to get the hell out of here well, the right republic right because it went from this guy trying to be an uh, autocratic figure to the left and then because the left had no more support because they just burned a bunch of houses down like hello so the right started like rising back up again so in the 1933 elections there like was a right republic so basically there was like this nazi group that was established in like let's say 26 because that's the vibe it gives off the sida like not sida obviously that's like a it's not hiv c-e-d-a like keda Keda? we're gonna call it keda so keda um was like this nazi style group and it was like super like this socialists and communists and whatever were like i don't like you at all obviously they're very different ideologies they were reversing all the left reforms they were like Catalonia, let me take your parliament back let me give the right back to the church you know giving it all out like that capitalism for life they became super polarized so you know like literally this is so obvious basically because like in the countryside people were like super quite socialist but the farmers were like attracted to socialist ideology but they didn't even go to socialist ideology because they had too much like conservativeness in them because socialism was kind of going hand in hand with like um liberalism so it was like anyways so then um we're getting to 1936 it's been three years we've been under a uh, right republic and guess what happens it's time for elections so in elections the popular front took a w what's a popular front let me tell you popular front is basically all of the left conjoined together to make one group so it's like all the communists marxists mm, socialists like anarchists everyone on the left is all together and they made the popular front that is a problem right because they are super divided like even though they have similar ideology they're all very different it's like super extreme and like super like chill so obviously this is like very bad for the future for the actual civil war um so yeah it's very fragmented very fragmented so azana came, oh yeah azana came back he was like i'm gonna take the role of the president again and this is where i'm telling like there's some fragmentation because some other leftist like leader called caballero he was like i'm not going part of the government if azuna is part of the government so everyone kind of ignored caballero to be fair because like why but we listen to you anyway oh yeah he had like a really limited reform he was like you know how in his last role he was like yeah, fuck capitalism, let's do all this other shit. And, but then now he was like, I don't want to get attacked anymore. And nobody was happy with that. Everyone was like, why are you not doing anything? You're literally present at the world. And this is the trigger cause of the civil war. Guys, let me tell you. Basically, there were these military officers that were planning a coup as soon as the popular front got the election W because they were like, there's no way we're letting these leftist people govern our country. July 13th, 1936 foreign minister but it's like the ex-foreign minister obviously because now it's like a left government his name is jose soleto he was murdered by the left leftist people and literally four days later on the 17th of july general emilio mola he was like it's time for the coup 
So then the civil war happened because he like went, you know what? It's not very clear what happened in the coup. We just know that it happened. And the FAI, remember the FAI is that super anarchist group. They're all part of the Republicans. Nationalists, like the monarchists, nationalism, people, fascists, conservative, Catholic church, landowners and business owners, and most of the army because they all had similar values of like, conservatism and there was support from germany and italy they end up receiving 75k troops from italy i didn't even know italy had that in them and franco started leading in october 1936 so this is the causes let me get on to you with like the practices because this is a really long video